Hey everybody, how's it going? Trevor here, Spin the Fumes of Hatred. Quick little collection update for you guys. Um, a couple packages came in the mail. Uh, one from Heavy Mail Museum and the other from uh, Winter Solace Records. Um, you know a couple guys that order from Winter Solace. Uh, Joe from Funeral Panzer, he actually just did a, an update a couple days ago on an order he got from them. Um, and that prompted me to order from there because, like, oh, I forgot all about them. I ended up getting, a, you know, a couple stuff, obviously. But I'll go through the Heavy Mail Museum order first. And, um, I feel like that's a seller that just about everyone is familiar with. Uh, I got seven cassettes. Four of them were used, so really cheap. And then one CD. Start with the, the ACDC stuff I got. So uh, I got uh, Jailbreak 74 EP, that's a ripper. Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, classic. And here's one that uh, people are pretty divided on, Flick of the Switch. So uh, Brian Johnson era. This is one of the few Brian Johnson albums I actually like. I'm not uh, too fond of that era of ACDC. Um, I mean, he's a fine singer, but yeah, a lot of it just sounds like arena rock to me. This album, I feel like they kind of stripped everything down and went back to their primal roots a bit. But I, I yeah, I really dig that album. I remain somewhere in time. I own this on LP. Thought it'd be nice to own on cassette. This is uh, an XDR pressing from 86. Uh, they did a lot of pressings of this in 86. Um, just in the Heavy Mail Museum's inventory alone, I saw a bunch of different variants of this cassette all come out, you know, all from the same year. Uh, I don't know if that number is going to get focused in on, but yeah, it's a variant it, it's at. Um, the booklet seems to be really good condition tape uh, has some has some wear oh, it's missing the uh, <laughs> it's missing the little felt pad it goes right there that's a uh, not a big deal I could that's an easy repair um, by the way actually glad I caught that um, for those of you guys who are in the cassettes, uh, and if you don't mind buying some old ones, like a bulk of old ones every now and then, uh, it's it's nice to have um, those rolls of uh, replacement pads. They come in rolls of like 25. You can get them on eBay for you know, like eight to 10 bucks, free shipping. Definitely worth to have, especially again, if you're getting used stuff. I mean, you never know. But it's nice to have on hand. And I got three new cassettes. The Back on Black reissues of uh, Burzum. I got uh, self-titled. Ask or Ask it, however you say it. And Dead Summon Gingvar. So these two I own on a CD. Uh, I think it's that 2018 pressing or whatever that comes in the slipcase. Um, and, and these two releases are on it. But it only shows this album art. Unless you go through the booklet, of course. But I like that. I like this album art to be out front and center. Um, and on top of that, I mean, got the logo and big font on the spine. I just think that looks cool in the collection. So. And this album, that Summon Gangvar, um, <clears throat> I owned many years ago on a, I think it was the original Digipack. It came out in 96. I gave it to a buddy of mine. And uh, I never replaced it for some reason. But, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been going back to this album, and I really missed having it in my collection, so glad to finally own it. Um, <clears throat> I 
Oh, I just, yeah. It just dawned on me. I don't think I was checking the tapes for the ACDC, so I'm going to check real quick, make sure the pads are in. So That's good. That's good. Yeah, after I found out the issue in the Iron Maiden one. Okay, yeah. All right. Cool. Groovy. All right, and then the uh, last thing I got from uh, Heavy Metal Museum is DSI Legion on CD. Great album. I've always uh, thoroughly enjoyed this. I don't know why I didn't own it already. Um, this on the debut and Amon Feasting the Beast. That's pretty much like all I listen to um, regarding Deicide. I don't. I had the box set for a bit. Wasn't really. I mean, I liked. Uh, there were a couple songs I liked. Uh, you know, on uh, Once Upon the Cross, I. I you know, I think it's pretty good. Serpents of the Light, again, some good stuff. Uh, Incinerate Him even has some good tracks on it. Um, but I just wasn't... It didn't really justify taking up all the space, so I got rid of it. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to stick to that. The debut and then, uh, you know, the Amon stuff. But, yeah, glad to finally own that on CD. And then from Winter Solace, got the Norham full length debut. Came out in 2018. Finished Black Mill with a deeper, a deeper register in the vocals, um, which is nice because a lot of them go for the you know the the higher you know, shrieky vocals or just higher register tonality in general. Um, but yeah, these guys are really fucking good. And I own their uh, 2020 and 2022 full lengths. So if they continue to go by that pattern, hopefully they have a new album come out in, you know, this year. Uh, and I have their split with um, CLU and Viholanen, which um, I've showed the album before, and I even mentioned Norham wipes the floor with them on that split. As much as I love CLU and Viholanen, I do think they're kind of going downhill a bit um but that's yeah not really relate to this video um what was i gonna say oh yeah um there's a compilation of theirs too of norham that's uh available on winter solace as well but i didn't pick it up but i do plan on eventually getting it i think it's on cd and lp okay crystal knocked in Praise of War, 2000 and 2002, it was elite French black metal. Very hateful, very frigid. A lot of killer riffs. And the new Off Norden. Been holding off on getting this, just on the hope that the tape or LP would be released soon. Um, but I got tired of waiting. Uh, I'm just not really a fan of digipacks. Although this does look pretty nice. I do like the big print on the side too. Um, yeah, it's really good. Uh, as I mentioned with Off Norton before, they kind of get... Uh, I've heard you know, comparisons to like Goat Moon. And I could definitely see it. And I've even like her references to black magic ss which I, I definitely see that too so yeah if you're in and out of those bands uh, i mean it's kind of in your ballpark um very punky as well but frost eternal 2 last track on here that's an acoustic version of frost eternal which um is the first track on uh jotunheimer the debut full length from last year uh, they have a couple of bathroom covers, Man of Iron, Man of Iron 2, did great on. Uh, so yeah, it's a great fucking 2024 release off Darker Than Black, which they always call killer shit. So yeah, it's my uh, quick little collection update for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the uh, next one. Cheers.